Yo, what's up everyone? Yes, on vacation in Miami. It happens to be a tropical storm. We planned this before that tropical storm was even coming, so didn't know it was on its way. But as promised, the carb journey continues. And I wanna share you all an update here. So someone commented on one of my YouTube videos, tryptophan is great for sleep. And I was like, well, tryptophan's an amino acid. And I've heard people supplement with tryptophan. Um, people commonly probably heard about tryptophan in Turkey because after Thanksgiving you get so full and it makes you sleepy. Probably not really the case, but you know, one of the discussion points around why Thanksgiving meal makes you so sleepy. Um, one of the things you want to think about too, whenever you think about amino acids, by the way, be honest, because it's part of the context, is that, look, man, it's not just about what the amino acids you take, but how they interact. And that is where this tryptophan carb thing came from because I was just thinking in my head, carbs don't have amino acids. So why is the tryptophan being discussed? Well, when you have a carb rich meal, poor in protein, it increases insulin. I'll actually put the PubMed little article here and it increases in insulin. And what happens is that insulin takes large amino acids that typically compete with tryptophan to cross the blood brain barrier, brings them into the cell, they're taken up. And so then there's less competition at the blood brain barrier for tryptophan to cross the blood brain barrier which allows for serotonin and further um, the amino cascade of events that lead to uh, potential better sleep right it's not a guarantee but it's arguably one of those precursors but what's interesting about that is that well again as i mentioned it's not just about eating amino acid but that dynamic interaction so the blood brain barrier is that well is what it sounds like. It's the blood brain barrier between your brain and your blood and what gets across it. And there's that competition that takes place. Like all those amino acids are trying to cross that blood brain barrier. Tryptophan might not be able to cross it as well as it could otherwise. But when you have a higher insulin level because you've eaten a carb rich meal, it allows tryptophan to cross that. And what I've been noticing with my sleep, when I was eating heavy carbs, I'm on vacation. It's not like I had my carb allotment. I'm gonna try to today though. Um, I, I slept so hard, like probably the hardest I've slept in three, two years, maybe a little too much at times. Um, for example, I haven't been able to sleep in in a long time. I can go to bed early. I can't sleep in, man. I could have slept until like nine 30. Um, uh, I struggle at times to get more than eight and a half hours, eight hours of sleep. If I really like have an off day, I can sleep seven just fine. I'm, I'm good at waking up. <laughs> But I'm not really good at actually getting more sleep. And, you know, if you're being active and you have the opportunity to sleep, take advantage of it. I just seem not to be able to. Um, I used to wake up a lot more in my sleep, it seemed like. Again, this is a very short sample size. But since a carb-rich meal, man, I've been sleeping so hard. I could sleep in. Um, I don't feel too, I don't feel groggy. It's not like I wake up and I'm like, oh my gosh, where am I? Um, no, it's a, I sleep really hard. I could sleep in. I wake up. I have good energy during the day. Just an interesting observation. And thank you to the uh, Twitter, the YouTube person who commented that. So I wanna share that with you all. Um, keep you updated in this process. Share the information I learned. Energy levels, I'm feeling good. My body weight's pretty normal. As always, um, I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks, appreciate y'all and take care.